Magandang araw. Ang lesson natin ngayon ay division of polynomials. So, we'll have the long division method. Ano ba yun? Ito yung usual division na ginagawa natin. When we are dividing a certain number by another number, natutunan nyo ito nung kayo ay nasa elementary pa lang. So, for example, we want to divide 2,753 by 14. So, we write it this way. So, 2,753 divided by 14. Then, we divide. 27 divided by 14 that would be 1 times 14 is 14. So, remember the process. The process. So, we divided first 27 by 14. So, the first process or the first operation that we do is divide. Okay. Then, after dividing 27 by 14, we write the quotient at the top of 7. And then, after which, we will multiply 1 and 14. So, 1 times 14. So, the second operation would be we multiply. So, we multiply the quotient by the divisor, 14, and then we write 14 here. After doing the multiplication, then we subtract. So, the third method or the third operation is subtraction. So, we divide, and then we multiply, and then we subtract. So, 7 minus 4 is 3, 2 minus 1 is 1. And then, after that, bring down. So, bring down the next term. So, bring down the next term. So, the next term is 5 or the next digit is 5. So, 135 divided by 14. 135 divided by 14. So, let's check. So, 14 times, let's, let's try 7. So, 4 times 7 is 28 times 2. 7, uh, 28. So, carry 2. 1 times 7 is 7, plus 2 is 9, so that's 98. Let's try 14 times 8. So, 14 times 8 is 32, so carry 3. 1 times 8 is 8, plus 3 is 11. Let's try 9. So, 14 times 9, that will be 4 times 9, 3 to 6, carry 3. So, 1 times 9 is 9, plus 3 is 12. Let's try 14 and 10. Siyempre, 14 and 10, that will be 140. So, in this case, 135 divided by 14 would be 9. So, 9 times 14 is 126. Then, we subtract again. So, 5 minus 6, it cannot be, borrow 1 from 3, this becomes 2. This becomes 15. 15 minus 6 is 9. Of course, 2 minus 2 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. Then, bring down 3. So, 93 divided by 14, so... 14 times 7 is 98, so let's try 14 times 6. 14 times, 4 times 6 is 24, carry 2. 6 times 1 is 1, plus 2 is 84. So that would be 6. So 6 times 4, uh, 6 times 14, that would be 84. Then we subtract again, 93 minus 84. Um, bar, so 3 minus 4 cannot be, bar 1 from 9, 9 becomes 8, 13, 3 becomes 13. 13 minus 4 is 9. So, in this case, we call this 9 the remainder. The remainder. Now, when we were in elementary, we were trained to rewriting the quotient as a mixed number form. So, we write 196 in mixed. Uh, uh, we write 2753 over 14 as 196 and 9 over 14. So, in this case, this is actually the remainder. This is the remainder, and this is the divisor, and this is the quotient. If you're going to elaborate, 196 and 9 over 14 is actually 196 plus 9 over 14. So, we will be denoting the quotient as Q of X, the remainder as R, or in, in some books, they write R of X or simply R and 14, the divisor as D of X. Thus, the quotient or rather the answer when we're dividing a number with another number could be written in this form. Q of X plus R or R of X over D of X. Okay. Now, let us try to apply the same concept or the same method of dividing Two polynomials. So just do not forget the method. Right, the method. First, we divide. 
Second, we multiply. Third, we subtract. And fourth, we bring down. So let's add here. Bring down. So before we repeat steps one to three, we bring down the next term. So bring down. What do we bring down? The next term. Okay, so this would be the fifth. And the fifth is repeat steps one, two, four. This should have been four. So remember the steps divide. What do we divide? The leading term to the leading term. Later on, we'll, we'll know all, all of these things. Next, multiply the monomial quotient to the divisor. We subtract. When we subtract, remember, we change the sign of the subtrahend, then add the two expressions. Then we bring down the next term and then repeat steps 1 to 4. That's simple. Now, let us try to apply the same concept to dividing polynomials. So remember, let's say if we have a polynomial p of x divided by d of x. So let's try to analyze what the quotient will be or let's try to solve what the quotient will be. Remember to rewrite the answer in the form q of x plus r over d of x. So q of x is the quotient, r is the remainder, and d of x is the divisor. So let us have activity 1, letter A. So p of x equals x cubed minus 3x squared plus 8x minus 10 divided by d of x equals x plus 4. So let us rewrite this in the previous form that we have or in the long division uh, way of writing. So let us have x cubed minus 3x squared plus 8x minus 10 divided by x plus 4. So let's recall the process. Let's recall the process. Remember, we divide. What do we divide? The leading term to the leading term. Ano po yun? Yung leading term ng nasa loob. Yung leading term ng dividend and the leading term of the divisor. Only the leading term. So that means... Before you write this, you have to make sure that the polynomial is written in the standard form. So as you can see, this is already written in the standard form. So we have x cubed, that's the leading term, divided by x, that's the leading term of the divisor. So x cubed divided by x, that would be x squared. So saan natin isusulat dun? Katapat ng x squared. No? So katapat ng x squared. So let's write here x squared. Then x squared... Remember the second process, after multiplying, after dividing, we multiply. What do we multiply? The monomial quotient to the divisor. So that would be x squared times x. So what is x squared times x? That would be x cubed. Then x squared times positive 4, that would be positive 4x squared. After multiplying, we subtract. So, we subtract. So, maglagay tayo dito ng minus. Remember, when we are subtracting polynomials, we always change the sign of the subtrahend. So, change the sign. This becomes negative. This is plus. So, change the sign to minus. And then, proceed to addition. This becomes now addition. So, change the sign. Change the sign. Then, plus x cubed plus negative x cubed, that would be 0. Negative 3x squared plus negative 4x squared, so that would be negative 7x squared. The next step after you subtract is to bring down, do not forget this one, to bring down. What do we bring down? The next term, the next term. So in this case, we are going to bring down the next term, that would be positive 8x. So bring down plus 8x. Then after bringing them down, Repeat steps 1 to 3. So, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Or 1 to 4, rather. So, let's do it again. Negative 7x squared divided by x. That would be negative 7x. So, you write it doon sa taas nung 8x. So, we have negative 7x. Then, multiply. Negative 7x times x. That would be negative 7x squared. Negative 7x times 4, that would be negative 28x. Then we subtract. Remember the rules. Change the sign. Change the sign. Proceed to addition. Don't forget, change the sign. Change the sign. Proceed to addition. So negative 7x squared plus 7x squared, that would be 0. 
8 plus 28 or 8x plus 28x that would be 36x then bring down so we bring down the last term negative 10 then let's repeat steps 1 to 1 to 4 divide multiply subtract then bring down kung may bring down pa sa dulo so let's see so 36x divided by x so leading term to leading term 36x divided by x that would be 36. Positive 36. So, isusulat natin dahil constant yon sa taas din ng constant term. So, remember, proper alignment. x squared to x squared, x to x, constant to constant. So, dapat sundin yung rule na yun ha, para hindi kayo narilito sa division. 36 times x, that would be 36x. 36 times 4, that would be positive. So, 6 times 4, 24. Carry to 3 times 4, 12 plus 2. 144 so that would be positive 144 then subtract remember change the sign change the sign plus so change the sign this becomes negative change the sign this becomes negative then add so 36 plus negative 36 that would be 0 negative 10 plus negative 144 that would be negative 100 negative 200 wait negative 154 so in this case this is the remainder since wala na tayong maibababa pa doon na next term so ito ay remainder so rewriting it in the form q of x plus r over d of x so that would be the quotient is x squared minus 7x plus 36 Plus, the remainder is negative 154 over the divisor that is x plus 4. So, this is now the answer. That's it. Okay, now let us have exercise B. Activity 1, exercise B. So, in this case, we are going to divide 9x raised to 4 plus 5x squared minus 6x minus 8. So, as you can see, may missing term. No, may missing term. Wala tayong x cubed. So, ang gagawin natin ay isusulat natin yung term na may x cubed with coefficient 0. Paano yun? Ganito lang. So, we have 9x raised to 4. Wala tayong x cubed. So, lalagyan natin 0x cubed. 0x cubed. Anyway, 0 naman din yan. No? So, walang effect yan sa value ng polynomial. That's still 0. Then, plus 5x squared minus 6x minus 8. So, as you can see, pag may missing term, Lalagyan ng 0. Do not forget that one. Then, divided by 3x plus 2. So, remember the steps. First, divide. Leading term to leading term. So, 9x raised to 4 divided by 3x. That would be 3x cubed. So, isulat mo sa taas nung may x cubed. So, that would be 3x cubed. Then, multiply. So, quotient to divisor. 3x cubed times 3x, that would be 9x raised to 4. And then 3x cubed times 2, that would be positive 6x cubed. Then, subtract. So, remember to subtract. So, ganito lang ang technique. Change the sign, change the sign, plus. Ganun lang, napaka simple. Then, let's add. So, 9x raised to 4 plus negative 9x raised to 4, that would be 0. 0 plus negative 6 is still negative 6 x cubed then the next step would have to be bring down what do we bring down the next term the next term is 5x squared so let us bring down positive 5x squared then let's divide again leading term to leading term so 6x cubed or rather negative 6x cubed divided by 3x is negative 2x squared so sa taas ng x squared ha sulat. so observe proper alignment then multiply, negative 2x squared times 3x is negative 6x cubed. Negative 2x squared times positive 2 is negative 4x squared. Then subtract, change the sign, change the sign, proceed to addition. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0, 5 plus 4 is 9, so 9x squared. Then bring down the next term, negative 6x. Divide, leading term to leading term. So 9x squared divided by 3x, that's positive 3x so sulat mo katapat ng may x plus 3x observe proper alignment 
3x times 3x is 9x squared. Then 3x times 2 is positive 6x. Subtract. Change the sign. Change the sign. Proceed to addition. So 9 plus negative 9 is 0. Negative 6 plus negative 6 is negative 12x. Then bring down the next term, negative 8. Divide leading term to leading term. So negative 12x divided by positive 3x is negative 4. So isulat yung negative 4 sa taas ng constant. Negative 4 times 3x, that would be negative 12x. Negative 4 times positive 2, that would be negative 8. Then, subtract. Change the sign, change the sign, proceed to addition. Negative 12 plus 12 is 0. Negative 8 plus 8 is also 0. So as you can see, there is no remainder. So the answer is just this one. So the final answer is 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 4. Okay, so we have, in letter C, we have x cubed minus 7x squared minus 15x plus 8 divided by x squared minus 2x minus 8. So we will try to divide p of x by d of x. So in this case, the divisor is quadratic. So paano natin gagawin yun? The same, the same process. So we have x cubed minus 7x squared minus 15x plus 8. Dahil wala naman tayong missing term, let's check the terms. So, raise to 3, raise to 2, raise to 1, raise to 0, yung x. Na. So, wala tayong missing term, so hindi tayo maglalagay ng 0 in between. Ito naman, the divisor is x squared minus 2x minus 8. Okay, so the first step, divide d. So, x cubed divided by x squared, that would be x x. Dahil x lang yon isusulat natin siya katapat ng x then That would be negative 15x. So, dito natin ilalagay si x. Observe proper alignment. x times, so the next step, multiply. So, x times x squared, that would be x cubed. x times negative 2x, that would be negative 2x squared. And x times negative 8, that would be negative 8x. Then, subtract. So, remember the technique in subtraction. Change the sign, change the sign, change the sign, add. So, 1 plus negative 1 is 0. Negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5x squared. Negative 15 plus 8, that will be negative 7, then x. Then, bring down. So, DMSB, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Bring down, positive 8. Let's divide. Again, negative 5x squared divided by x squared. That would be negative 5. Dahil constant yun, isulat sa taas ng constant. Then multiply. Negative 5 times x squared is negative 5x squared. Negative 5 times negative 2x, that would be positive 10x. Negative 5 times negative 8, that would be positive 40. Then subtract. Change the sign, change the sign, change the sign. Add. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0. Negative 7 plus negative 10 is negative 17, then x. Positive 8 plus negative 40, that would be negative 32. Wala na tayong bring down, that means this is already the remainder. So, isusulat natin dito. So, remember the, the format for the answer. Q of x plus r over d of x. So, Q of x is the quotient. So, this is the quotient. This is x minus 5 plus the remainder is this one, negative 17x minus 32 over the divisor. This one, x squared minus 2x minus 8. And that would be the final answer. Ganun lang, napaka simple lang, no? Okay, now there is still another exercise here in letter D. So we have 3x raised to 4 plus 10x cubed minus 8x squared plus 10x minus 13 divided by 3x squared minus 2x plus 3. Pero sa tingin ko, ang kayang kaya nyo na yun. So, let, it be, let this be your practice exercise. Good luck!